What's up guys? So today I am going to be uh, recarpeting uh, one of the bunks on my boat trailer. So I've seen a lot of these videos and, and uh, some of them don't really let you know um, what supplies you need. So of course I got the galvanized large screws, three eighths inch, uh, one and a half inches uh, in length. This came off the board here, two by six by eight. It is treated. Um, I got these uh, simple T50 staples, half inch. That's the staple to carpet on. I'm gonna be using a heavy duty simple stapler. Uh, I bought these uh, for my impact. Uh, that way I can just um, put a socket on there and and uh, make it a little easier, maybe a little quicker when uh, when I actually screw it onto the trailer. I'm gonna uh, use uh, some of this 3M contact of adhesive uh, for, I'm just gonna spray a bunch of it on the board for when I put the carpet on. And of course, a Stanley knife, X-Acto knife, whatever you wanna say, uh, some scissors. And of course, I got the boards. Um, get it at your local hardware store i got mine at lowe's uh can't remember exactly how much it was um anyway and also i got the carpet here from lowe's as well so it comes in six foot it's six foot wide and then it's um i got it like nine foot long because my boards are eight and i can tell you how much it was right here um, let's see. So I paid about $38 for the carpet. And then for the boards, I paid $12.98. So I will, um, start putting the carpet on and I will, uh, show you guys as I progress. What's up guys? So I got one side of my carpet on the board. As you can see here, I stapled it on. Um, took me a minute to get uh, going a little bit because uh, for some reason the staples I had in my staple gun right here didn't want to go on the board. So it uh, ended up working. But uh, so I'm going to use this um, high strength 90 contact adhesive from 3M. Spray it on this side here. Oh wow, never used this stuff before. So, kind of spray it all down here. Don't know much about this. Um, know some people who've used it before had good results with it. So, figured I'd try it out. Okay. So, want to make sure your carpet nice and tight on the board. So, oh. Hold that nice and tight. And help it around. and start stapling. By the way, this is definitely not hard. Anybody, a simple layman Joe, can do something like this. Takes a little time, that's all. Carpet starts shredding like that. Just trim it off. Make sure you guys give you give you enough room to staple on here. Like I said, I've I've never done this before. And um, 
to be my first time. So, see how it comes out. Like I said, I could have got marine grade carpet, but it's essentially the same thing that I got from Lowe's. And I didn't go to Home Depot because they didn't have it in stock. So you can uh, imagine get it at either as long as one of them has it. got my other board here. What I'm gonna do is lay this. Lay that down, put some pressure on it. Grab my Stanley knife. Cut along the edge of the board. The way I can get somewhat of a nice flat edge to where I need to cut. There we go. Not necessarily up here. Okay. And go ahead and put it there. All right, I got my spray. I'm gonna lift this up. I'm just gonna spray this on the bottom, on the carpet, and on the wood. Like I said, Never used this, never done this. Hopefully it'll work all right. Still gonna be in the water at some point. So, it works, it works. If not, at least I tried. All right, pull that really snug. By the way, it's hot as hell out here. Dayton, Ohio. There we go. Not necessarily even as far as the carpet on one side or the other, but I left some room for the bolts where it's gonna fold up to the trailer. I could have cut a little more, or left a little more, I mean. But, like I said, it's not gonna be perfect because by no means is from my trailer now perfect at all so like I said before you take a hammer you hammer those nails in for the staples in there do that one side and then I'll do the other side and then all right so the way I'm doing this so I'm going pretty much gonna fold it like that Some my scissors just gonna cut down just to the top of the board and then I'm gonna cut over Gotta get as straight as possible. And 
I'm just gonna kind of cut it at an angle here, or not an angle, but down to the corner. I'm just gonna cut that up to the wood. That way, this piece can just go in there, just like that. I have this, might as well use it. Staples, as you feel comfortable. See, with this, I can just cut that'll be all right. You can always throw an extra staple in there, okay? So, I'm gonna cut this as well, just kind of to the corner of the board, on the bottom. And this piece will go across just like that. So I'm gonna trim. This don't even really need. And like I said, you no know, one way is right or wrong, I guess. So. Um, so I'll give you an idea of what this looks like so far. So that I think what I'll do is I may cut a diagonal piece here and a diagonal piece there. Give it, make it look a little better, I guess. Makes it look look a little cleaner. Yeah. So what I'll do? Heh, use some of this. Why not? Right. I guess you could never have too many staples. <laughs> Actually, if I look at this, look at the way that it is on there right now. This, it may not look good, but it looks a lot better than what's on there. Okay. All right, I'll show you that. Looks somewhat nice and neat. You got that side all nice and padded, and recarpeted. All right, go ahead and do the other side. All right, so here we go. Boat's in the water. We got our boards here and ran into a little bit of a problem. Um, the board here, you can see it's about six or so inches longer so this is the problem right here this is what we're fixing so i don't have my saw here i can't cut it so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna split split the the, the difference and and make it work if it doesn't work i'll take it off and do it again but i got my 916 socket here i'm gonna take these uh bolts out here Yeah, just to give you an idea. Wow, these are actually still intact. I thought it broke off. Dang. 
come out super easy. They must have been like ready to come out. Highly suggest you use one of these for installation and whatnot. It's super easy, it's fast. Nice and quick. Look at that. Actually, these are, I could reuse these. These actually look better than the ones I got. I may do that. So what I did, you ready? What I did was I'm gonna pre-drill a hole, kind of measure it up, considering the the frame here, and then the washer, I just kind of measured down. That way I don't go all the way through the board. I can just measure up until the tape. So I'm gonna do that first. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna I'm gonna put this one on first just so I don't have to hold it. Let's see how this works. Alright, I'm not gonna super super tighten it with this. I don't want it to strip the wood and it not be able to hold. Okay, so what I'll do is I'm gonna do that for all all three hookups, and then I'll go back with a with a a wrench and just tighten it up to where I think it's good to go. But all right, first board. All right, guys, got these holes drilled. And uh, it helps if you have a separate drill and impact. That way things run a little faster, a little smoother. <laughs> Do I need a new camera guy? <laughs> Good. You're recording. All right, so I'm on my last bolt on this, on this new board here. And I had already drilled my hole. And you don't want to drill it the same width of your screw, of your bolt because then it's not gonna it's not gonna work. So I'll go ahead and tighten this up. Oh, need to need to do that a little better. All right, there we go. Like I said, I'm not going to uh, super tighten it with this because I don't want to strip out the, the wood. So as you can see right now, I replaced these two boards. Super easy. Probably took, what, 15 minutes? Just have everything prepped. Show them how nice these things look compared to the other ones. Whew. Yep, got the boards from Lowe's. Got my carpet from Lowe's as well. Good man, compared to that motherboard. We are almost done. We just got three, we got two three foot boards left, and we're good to go. Right there. So, you want to finish? All the right, video? guys, I got to finish the video. All right, these are the old ones, they're still on there. I didn't, didn't decide to change those ones yet. Got the two long, those are new. And the two up front, they're very new. Um, so once you prep this, have it all good to go. Seriously, took us less than an hour, I would say, to, to unbolt and bolt these things back up. So if you like this video, 
I know it's long. Hit the subscribe and the like button. Smash the like. Smash the like, Dougie. Oh yeah. That Again, is a this is a 2016 Moomba Craze Boatmate trailer. Super easy, DIY, replacing the bunk boards. Don't waste your money with a dealership. They wanted to charge me 136 bucks per board. And I think I paid 15 a piece for the board. Less than 100 bucks for everything. And a dinner. And a dinner. Thanks, Dougie. Peace out, guys.